वेलकम बैक टू रोन डिजिटल लर्निंग स्टेशन आई सी एस सी प्रूडेंट्स कोचिंग हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स दिस टॉपिक इज अबाउट फ्रेजल वर्ब और ग्रुप वर्ब दिस थर्टी मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फ्रेजल वर्ब्स विल हेल्प यू टू स्कोर बेटर परसेंटेज मार्क्स इन योर एग्जाम्स एंड एलॉन्ग विद दैट यू विल बी एबल टू यूटिलाइज देम इन योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग व्हिच विल डेफिनेटली ऑगमेंट द स्टाइल ऑफ योर राइटिंग लेट्स डिस्कस इन द बिगिनिंग विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेफिनेशन अ फ्रेजल वर्ब इज अ फ्रेज दैट कंबाइंस अ वर्ब विथ अ प्रेपोजिशन और एडवर्ब और बोथ and that functions as a verb whose meaning is different from the combined meanings of the individual words we'll understand this definition with the help of these examples let's take the verb come the verb come can be attached with the prepositions like up with come up with has a different meaning than the two separate meanings of the preposition and this verb come so let's discuss the meaning of the phrasal verb come up with come up with means to suggest or to think of an idea or a plan here is the sentence let's come up with a destination for our holiday next verb is about come across the next phrasal verb come across come across is very very much repetitive phrasal verb for your exams come across means to find accidentally or to meet someone accidentally or to meet someone all of a sudden here is the sentence while cleaning i came across a childhood photo next you have come by come by means to get or acquire we don't know how she came by that much money next example is about come out with means to utter or to produce Apple has come out with a version of iPhone. Next, come along with. Come along with means to accompany someone. The sentence is about. Can you come along with us to the movies tonight? That means we are asking for someone's company in this sentence. Next is calm down with. Calm down with means to become ill with something. such as she came down with the flu yesterday so students you can see we are utilizing this verb come along with the different types of prepositions and all of a sudden its meaning is changing completely so this is the fundamental rule of phrasal verb let's discuss the 30 most important phrasal verb for your exams here is the first one the first one is about abide by abide by means to follow through on a commitment or an act under something it can be used such as children must abide by the school's rules and regulations or we can also say we should always abide by the guidance of our elders this can also be said next example is about break in break in means to forcibly enter a structure or location or to begin something new break in can be replaced with break into such as we can say the robbers break into the house at night here the example is about amit entered or tried to break into our apartment last night like a thief or robber next example is about break up break up means breaking an object into pieces or the end of any relationship Elena finally broke up with his boyfriend last week. This can be said or this breakup can be used with other sentences like in a fit of rage Rahim breaks up the glass into pieces. That can also be said. Next number 4 check out. Check out means to leave or to examine. Such as Ravi has checked out his room. Next one figure out. Figure out means to solve or find out something. he already figured out how to solve this problem this can be used in this sentence next is about follow up follow up means to verify or to continue we can use this in the sentence like the superintendent asked him to follow up on the remaining files that means the superintendent asked him to continue or to verify the remaining files 
express alpha is about get through to complete or to overcome we can use it in the sentence like it was challenging for her to get through everything by herself next one number eight grow up means to slowly distance oneself many cities grew up with the help of technology we can also say this grow up in a sentence like you have acted like a childish one grow up or you will be facing so much embarrassments in your life next sentence is about hold on a brief period to wait hold on means a brief period to wait that means a short period for waiting now hold on let me check my phone as if we are requesting someone with this next one is hangout hangout means spending time with someone while doing nothing in particular generally we use it in our daily life let's hang out somewhere today that means without any purpose we are just roaming around next number 11 look for look for means to search or to expect such as we can use it he spent his whole day looking for a pen this is so funny that someone is spending a whole day for a pen we can also utilize this look for in a sentence like we are looking for a better opportunity in life everyone looks for and you can also pursue a very good course for a bright career so you can expect a good job next number 12 light up light up means to make happy or to illuminate a smile can light up his face this is very much true if you are a very jovial person your smile can light up someone's life and others life as well next move in move in means to move and begin a new life or job are you moving into this house we can also say like are you moving into this village after your foreign journey that can be said about us uh, any person who is completely changing his residence and in a feat of irony we can use this sentence next number 14 which remains very important turn down means to reject here turn down the offer you can also say that uh, no one cares if you turn down a golden opportunity in your life so you should always grab the golden opportunity in your life or you should never turn down a golden opportunity in your life next number 15 which remains very very much important look after look after means to care for the nurse looks after the patients that means the nurse takes care of the patients next number 16 you know that students this is one of the most important phrasal verbs so you can see students we are giving here very very important phrasal verbs which remain very much important for your exams you must memorize the meaning along with the sentences otherwise you will forget the actual meaning of the phrasal verb without memorizing memorization of the sentences you will not be able to get it by your heart forever so here the phrasal verb is put up with put up with means to tolerate or to endure something or someone no one can put up with such an insult so it's really unbearable for you if you are being insulted and you will not be able to tolerate the insult so put up with can also means to tolerate or to bear with next run into run into means to unexpectedly encounter someone or something such as i ran into an old friends at the grocery store yesterday which generally happens or rarely happens in our life next number 18 breakdown breakdown means to stop functioning or fail to work correctly my car broke down on the way to work so i had to call for a tow truck next number 19 call off it is also very much important to cancel or abort something they had to call off the outdoor concert due to bad weather next number 20 set in means begin it is very very much important actually here 30 phasal verbs are very much important for your exam so memorize all of them dear students set in means begins the rains have set in next number 21 take after means resemble shreya takes after her mother we can also say that akram takes after his brother this can also be said next number 22 work at work at means be engaged in he is working at the school next number 23 
turn out. Turn out means drive out. He was turned out from the school. This can also be said about any kinds of expelment of any students or banishment of any student from any school. Like we are uh, saying he had got a TC. Instead of that we can utilize with this phrasal verb like he has been turned out from the school. So you can see that uh, with the usage of phrasal verb the writing style of our descriptive part remains very much improved. Next part is set out. Set out means start a journey. He sets out for London. So dear students you should know that if we write he set out for London that means we are writing about the past tense and if we write he sets out for London that means he generally goes for London. So there is a difference and while you are using the phrasal verbs in a sentence you must be careful about the tense because according to the tense the formation of the phrasal verb generally changes. As we have discussed in question number 24 as well. Next, 25. Set up. Set up means establish. The villagers have set up a school in the village. This is also very much important. And students, after learning the phrasal verb, you must practice. If you wish to practice, you can check our playlist of phrasal verb. There we have provided so many exercises for your practice with 10 seconds time lapse so it will be very much helpful for you just go to the playlist of icc prudence and check about phrasal verbs from there you can practice and augment your skills in phrasal verbs next point is about 26 stand up for stand up for means defend the strong should stand up for the weak next number 27 stand over stand over means postpone let this matter stand over till the next week next number 28 set about set about means begin neha sets about her work early in the morning next number 29 set aside means ignore let us set aside all formalities next 30 set off means bid goodbye i went to the station to see my friend off so students we have finally concluded this particular content if you wish to get more important phrasal verbs which will be very very much relevant to your exams then please comment and let us know about it we'll definitely provide you the most important phrasal verb li list later